Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on geometric proof. In this video, we're going to look at how to answer some geometric proof questions. Now, whenever I'm doing a geometric proof question, what I tend to do is do the question on the diagram, but as I'm doing each step, I tend to write down um, very clearly what I've done each time so that whenever someone's looking at it or marking my work, that they can see very clearly what I've done. Quite often, the question will say, give reasons for each step of your answer. Okay, so let's have a look at our first question. So the first question says, APC is a straight line. So this is a straight line. And we've been told that CP equals BP. So let's actually mark that on, that CP is equal to BP. We've also been told that the angle ABP, so ABP, this angle here, is twice angle CBP, so CBP. So this angle is twice that angle. And then we've also been told the angle BCP, so BCP, this angle here, is equal to X. And the question asks us to prove the angle BAC, so BAC, this angle, this is the one we're looking for, that is equal to 180 degrees minus 4X. So let's have a look at doing this question, and each time we do something, we'll write it down what we've done. So the first thing that I notice in this question is that the line CP equals BP. So that means that this is an isosceles triangle. And if this is an isosceles triangle, if this is angle that is equal to X, the angle CBP is also equal to X as well. So let's write that down. So as CP equals BP, triangle BCP is isosceles, and therefore angle BCP and angle CBP are equal to each other. So I'm just writing down very clearly why those are equal to X. Okay, next. The next thing I sort of remember in the question is that angle ABP is twice angle CBP. So this angle is twice that angle. So if this angle is equal to X, this angle here would be equal to 2X. And actually that would mean that the whole angle at the top would be equal to 3X. So this whole angle would be 3X. Okay, let's write that down. So as angle ABP is twice angle CBP, angle ABP is equal to 2X, and angle ABC, the whole angle, would be equal to 3X. Okay, now we've been asked to find this angle here. Now, as if I look at this triangle, I can see that we've got the angle at the top of the triangle, this is the whole triangle, ABC, and that we've got the angle at the top is equal to 3X, and the angle on the right-hand side is equal to X. Well, the angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees. So to find the missing one, if I take the two angles we know away from 180 degrees, we'll find angle BAC. So 180 degrees minus our 3X and minus our X will equal angle BAC. Now, 180 degrees minus 3x minus x would be 180 degrees minus 4x. And that's what we were asked to find. So we've done it. So our last step is I would write that down. I would write down as the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, angle BAC plus angle ABC plus angle ACB equals 180 degrees. And therefore, 180 degrees minus 3x minus x equals angle B A C, so angle B A C equals 180 degrees minus 4x. And that's it, we're done. Now at the end of proof questions, I tend to write, like writing this, which is QED. And that's whenever I've been asked to prove a question, I read that at the end to show that I'm finished. It's Latin, or it's an abbreviation of a Latin phrase. And the Latin phrase is, please excuse my pronunciation, anyone that can speak Latin properly, um, quod etra demonstratum. And it translated as that which had to be demonstrated. So whenever you're asked to prove something, if you've done it, um, I quite smugly read at the end QED, and it just means I'm done. There's other alternatives to QED. QED, and it's quite interesting if you look those up, and I tend to just like writing QED at the end of a proof question. Okay, our next question. Okay, so our next question, we've been told that the lines LM and PQ are parallel lines, and we've been asked to prove that X plus Y is equal to Z. Now, whenever I look at this diagram, I'm thinking of alternate angles, alternate corresponding angles. With the sort of the, the point R and the fact that we've got one line and it goes to another line, it makes it a bit trickier. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to draw a horizontal line passing through R that's parallel to the top and the bottom. So I'm actually going to create something that looks like this. And I'm going to call that line ST. The reason is I can now use my alternate angles in this question quite nicely. So the first thing we done was we drew a line ST and I wrote down that ST is a line parallel to LM and PQ. I'm going to show it on the diagram as well by doing our little arrows to show that these lines are all parallel lines to each other. Now, if I'm looking at this diagram and I wanted to find this angle, what I would do is I would look at the top here and I would look, consider alternate angles. We have got the angle X, 
would be alternate to this angle here. So this is equal to x. Now obviously in the whenever we run down our reasons, we're gonna to have to label the angles or call the angles their proper names. Uh, please don't call them z angles, it is alternate angles. So let's write that down properly. That angle M L R, that angle, and angle S R L, that angle, are alternate angles, so they're equal. So that means the angle S R L is equal to x. And we're going to do the same looking at the bottom half of the diagram, that if this angle is equal to y, that the angle here is also equal to y. So again, writing that down using the proper terminology, we would write down angle RPQ is equal to angle SRP. And that means that S angle SRP is equal to y as well. And then we've been asked to find or show that z is equal to x plus y. And actually, if you look at the diagrams, we've done that. This angle, we were given in the question the angle LRP was z, and we've got that angle LRP in our diagram is x plus y. So let's just write that down. So we were asked to find it, and we have said, well, therefore, angle LRP is equal to x plus y. We were told in the question that angle LRP was equal to Z, so X plus Y is equal to Z. And again, let's finish it off with QED to show that we're, we're finished. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question, we've got a circle, and we've been told that the line AOE is a straight line, and the line ACD is a straight line. We've been told that AC, this line, is equal to OD, that line. I'm just going to put little dashes on the lines to show they're the same length as each other. And we've also been told the angle OAC, so OAC is equal to X. And we've been asked to prove the angle DOE, this angle, is equal to 3X. So that's what we're trying to find or show. Now the first thing that I notice whenever I look at this diagram is that OD is equal to AC. So we've got two lines that are the same length. And OD is the radius, and there are over radii in the question, so let's mark on that they're the same length as well. So OC would be the same length, and OE would be the same length. So all these four lines would have the same length. That might be quite useful, especially because we're dealing with angles. So we were given that OAC was equal to X, and this is an isosceles triangle. So let's write down that that angle will also be equal to X, because the two angles in isosceles triangle are equal to each other. Okay, so AC is equal to the radius of the circle. So that means that AC would equal OC, OD, and OE. And therefore, angle OAC would be equal to angle AOC because the two angles in isosceles triangle are equal to each other, and I'm writing that down. Now we've got that the angle here is equal to x, and the angle here is equal to x. Let's find the angle in the triangle here, the third angle in the triangle. So to find the missing angle in the triangle, we would take the two angles we know away from 180 degrees. So we've got x plus x is 2x, so this angle here would be 180 degrees minus 2x. And again, writing that down would give angle ACO equals 180 degrees minus 2x, as the angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees. Right, now we're trying to find what this angle over here is, this angle DOE. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna consider this straight line and I'm gonna get the angle inside of the other triangle OCD here. So we've got a straight line and we know that one of the angles is 180 degrees minus 2x. Now the angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So if this is 180 degrees minus 2x, this angle must be equal to 2x because when you add them together, you get 180 degrees. So let's write that down. So angle DCO equals 2x as the angles in a straight line, ACD, add up to 180 degrees. And again, we've got another isosceles triangle here. So if this angle is equal to 2x, the other angle over here will be equal to 2x as well. So let's write that down. As OC equals OD, as they're both the radii, the triangle DCO is isosceles, so therefore angle CDO is equal to 2x. Okay, so we've now got that these two angles are equal to 2x and 2x. To find the missing one at the top here, we're going to take the two angles we know away from 180 degrees. So 2x plus 2x is 4x, and taking that away from 180 degrees would leave us with 180 degrees minus 4x. So we know that the angle at the top of the triangle is 180 degrees minus 4x. And again, writing that down as the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, angle DOC will equal 180 degrees minus 4x. Okay, and finally, to find the angle that we want, this angle over here, DOE. Now we know that the angles in a straight line add up together to give us 180 degrees. Now we know one of the angles is x, we know the other one's 180 degrees minus 4x, and we want to find the missing angle. So let's add up the two that we know. So 180 degrees minus 4x, add an x would be 180 degrees minus 3x. And then to get this to become 180 degrees in total, this angle here must be equal to 3x. So angle DOE is 3x, so let's write that down. 
So as the angle's in a straight line, add up to 180 degrees, angle AOC plus angle DOC plus angle DOE equals 180 degrees. Let's just write down our method here. So AOC is equal to X. DOC is plus 180 degrees minus 4X. And finally, our angle DOE, so plus angle DOE equals 180 degrees. And then you could just solve this really quickly and say, well, 180 degrees minus 3X plus angle DOE equals 180 degrees. Minus in the 180 degrees from both sides of the equation would give us that minus 3X plus angle DOE will equal zero. And adding 3X gives us angle DOE equals 3X. And that's us done. QED finished. And that's it.